Welcome back to the Sinker Guy Garage. I uh, wanted to uh, teach and train a little bit on one of the infamous rigs that I've been catching a lot of fish on. Uh, a lot of people have been asking the question, that's not the Bruno rig, what is it? I know you're catching big red fish, black drum, pompano, on this, we've seen it in a lot of the videos from uh, from Hay Skipper to Slot City Fishing. Uh, it's called the Fishing Mortician Rig. Now, Fishing Mortician is a genius when it comes to making rigs, uh, different types of rigs, uh, targeting different fish in this area. And I was able to uh, get mentored by him, even though he wasn't, uh, didn't think he was mentoring me, he was mentoring me. I was listening. I was on the beaches uh, trying to learn how to surf fish. No one ever would talk about it, but he was able to take me under his wing and he taught me a lot uh, and a few times of uh, fishing. I just knew that he outfished me. I'm gonna learn what other people are doing. This was one of the things that he used uh, along with one of our bu other buddies, Paulos. Uh, and I learned how to fish crab from Paulos. And uh, so what, one of the big things is, is I'm gonna teach you how to make the fishing mortician rig. Uh, this is any time that you see me fishing uh, sand fleas, live sand fleas, live crabs, uh, live shrimp sometimes is going to be on this rig. And now you'll know what it is when you see it on my video. Uh, I don't just use the Bruno rig. Uh, there, you just never know. You got to show up to the beach, be ready. So I'm going to just uh, start by explaining how and why uh, to make this rig. Just so you guys kind of know, is uh, there's a guy by that I met at. Uh, that I cast makes polymer fluorocarbon, and I really like it. Uh, Brian's his name. Uh, you can get it on Amazon.com. So I like this. I use a uh, 40 pound fluorocarbon uh, leader, and then a 25 pound for the snoods uh, when I'm making that fish and mortician rig. Now, before I met uh, Brian, we had um, I, I always used a cigar along with the trick fish. So a little bit different information. A lot you trust what you like. You go ahead and get what you like. I'm just giving you some some, some suggestions that you might uh, use. This is what I like. I've been catching a lot of fish on it, so I like it. So, what we're going to start with is uh, I always use the uh, number two Maryland Coast Lock, uh, 100 pound test. Uh, we cast pretty hard, and then I use the uh, 100 pound uh, just little barrel swivel there uh, for my terminal tackle. Terminal tackle number one never lose a fish because of the terminal tackle. Get the good stuff, don't waste your uh, money on cheap stuff, but that's what I use. So, first off, I'm gonna use the 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, I like a longer leader, not everybody does, I do. So, I go to 45 inches, and 45 inches, I'm gonna mark it, and then I'm gonna just cut it off, and 45, actually turns down to about 42 inches total after I do all my knots. So everybody's uh, mom had a pair of these. Not supposed to use them to cut line, but I like them to cut my line. So uh, I have 45 inches. I'm gonna put, the, put my handy dandy tape measure away. I have a little mark on mine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with just making seven turns, very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm gonna push it through the end circle and through the eye, okay? So, can't really see it, but through the eye. I'm gonna lick it, I'm gonna pull it tight. That's going to be what attaches. It's a little long there, as you can see, a little long, so I'm gonna cut that off. About half of that. I'm gonna go on the other end. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the barrel coast lock on there. And same thing, seven turns. Uh, some people have liked it more, some people like it less. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult uh, for me if I'm uh, doing eight or nine to be able to get all the way to get it to pull down tight. So five, oh, we'll start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lick it, go through the end. Everybody knows that. Boom. And I have a little excess there. A little excess on there. I'm gonna cut that off about halfway. Okay, so I have 
the main part now, my main leader line. So now the question is, is well, I have my main leader. It's 40 pound fluorocarbon. Down south, very important to have flor fluorocarbon. Up here, water's a little bit dirtier. When the pump and are running and you're finding, and you're fishing clean water, you need to make sure that you have a uh, smaller diameter. Um, and that's what Polymer has done, is they, they put a phenomenal product out that's a smaller diameter. The 40, the 40 holds like 40, the 25 holds probably like 18, but the diameter of it is amazing. You're not gonna get a bluefish with the 25, just so you know. So you might need to move up uh, your tackle. As I have the full length, I'm gonna put one a third of the way down and a third of the way from the bottom, okay? So with this fishing mortician rig, science. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm gonna make a figure eight knot. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna go around and then I'm gonna drop all my bait, all the bottom through. I'm gonna just drop it right through the hole and that's going to make a figure eight knot. And you can see that it's a figure eight. Oh, let's see if I can get a little higher so you can well, let's contrast it. It is a figure eight there. And you just pull it tight. So then I go a little bit below that, do the same thing very simple around and drop back through and we're going to need for the fishing mortician we need four figure eight knots on the line and then i'm just going to pull this tight here and there's one there's two knots now all of my fishing mortician uh, uh snoods are going to go in between that so then i'm going to go to the next one i'm going to go around down and then back through the bottom and I'm going to have a, a figure eight knot. Everybody can see that figure eight knot? Boom, it's gonna make a figure eight there. I'm gonna go right below it. Same thing, I've tied a thousand of these, so. And then I'm gonna drop this back down. You want it to look like a figure eight. Uh, figure eights don't uh, ruin the integrity of the line uh, so it won't snap on you. So there's the next figure eight, boom. So now, the question is now is I have two leader i have my leader i have two spots ready uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to snell the hook so you're going to need two hooks on the uh, fish and mortician rig now i'm just going to show you how to snell one of them but all we're going to do is we're going to go through from the hook side we're going to grab it right there and all i'm going to do is i'm going to make 10 turns one two on this the shaft three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, when I get 10, I'm gonna grab it with that finger. Very key to grab that line. So the goal is to have a seven inch snoot. I like seven inches. Don't know why I like seven, but it catches a lot of fish. Uh, some people like four, some people like longer. I like seven. That is seven right there. So what I'm gonna do is I take that and I'm gonna just send that right back through the front side of that. And this is called snelling the hook. So you can look it up on Facebook or look it up anywhere, but then you're just gonna pull it tight. It's gonna pull everything tight there. Uh, so now, I don't have a lot, I don't wanna have a big tag there. So what I'm gonna do is cut that off right at the base of that straight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an overhand knot, double overhand knot. Now, I didn't really check this, but the fishing mortician is a genius. So I just listened to him. He said it's one of the strongest knots. I said, okay. It's one of the strongest knots. I don't, uh, I don't have to worry about it. I've never had it break. So I'm just gonna listen to him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double that over. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna go over the top and I'm gonna go through the middle and go through the middle one time. One time and then I'm gonna go back. It's a double overhand. So and then I'm gonna go back through hand. So you're gonna go through again and then you're just gonna pull it. So you got it two times through the knot and you're just gonna pull it tight. And a lot of times what I do is I just have, not my scissors typically, but something to pull against it and use my teeth, but shouldn't do that. And then I just cut, cut this excess off here. Pretty simple. Now, the question is, is how, how do I then put this on? So I have it all ready, okay? So I have my knot right there, my two knots. And now all I'm gonna do, I can do this on the beach, I'd prefer not to. 
I'm just going to turn that just like that. I'm going to put the hook through and I'm just going to pull it until it's tight. Oop. Put it through there. And then I'm just going to hold that line and you can see it go there. And that tag always catches. Just push it through and pull it. Now, there's what we have. And boom, it's just going to pull tight. So now you've got the whole thing. Boom. Now, the thing is with the mortician is the mortician says, well, a fish has the ability to pull up and down. And it gives you more chance for it to then suck it in. And then when that fish is coming in, it will twist, but not twist up. You see that? It's just going around its own line. What a genius. The guy's a genius. Look up some of his stuff, the fishing mortician. Uh, maybe we can encourage him to get back to, to speaking and, and talking about all this stuff. But that's number one. Now, I have these made up already pre-done so when i go to the beach i'm going to use this rig now when the sharks show up i use this rig more i make sinkers i don't like losing sinkers everybody's thrown them off like the video if you've thrown one off <laughs> how far does that thing go it's beautiful how far that thing flies aerodynamic but that's not what we're looking to do so when those sharks come and they eat your bait, they bite this snood off. Well, the snood goes off, but you still have your sinker at the bottom. If you just make one continuous, remember, if you lose one, you just have to bring it in gently or you lose your sinker too. A little information, I like this rig because of that also. I used to buy sinkers too. The mortician taught me how to make the sinkers. So uh, the guy's a genius once again. But now I have different levels of snoods that I have, and I, I got these off of the Wish app. Uh, I'm frugal, so the Wish app has, I don't know, 50 of them or 20 of them for a dollar and a quarter or something. Shipped here, you, you spend probably $2 on a bunch of these. But I just, I have a bunch of snelled hooks already ready to rock and roll. A lot of people go, well, how do you not get those uh, tangled? Well, you can do a couple different things. They, they don't make the old one uh, that I really liked, uh, but, you can do it this way, um, or you can use this. This is another good example uh, of one to use, but the problem is, is when you're on the beach, the circle hooks don't come out of this, these little grooves very easy. So then you have to pull this down. If your hands are wet, they, it just hurts. You can get them a lot of places, but Eagle Claw makes them. It's, uh, you can get them on Amazon. I think this was four bucks or something. But you can do that. It just hurts your fingers when you're on the beach. I'm, so that's why it's not on that one. And then I always have, when those blue fish show up, the red fish show up, I have, always have some, this is 40 pound, exactly what I made the leader out of, 40 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, so if, I need, if I'm getting bit off all the time, I'm gonna have to risk it uh, with a little heavier line. It's just how it's gonna work. Uh, and sometimes you need to blue, pull a bluefish in just to, for, for your own uh, morale. So, a little information there. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, uh, feel free to ask on the bottom of the video. Do me a favor, hit subscribe. A uh, little information, when we get to 1,000, I am giving one of the Florida Surfcaster rods away in a drawing. So, go ahead and make sure that those are the rods that I fish. So, if you fish beside me and you know uh, how far I can cast those and and you'll like you'll like those uh, rods if you're the one that wins it So just a little heads up there, but go ahead and subscribe uh, Turn on the notifications. You'll love all the videos I put out Have a great day